Welcome back, folks. RM Epoxy in the house. Oh, I've got a piece here that I was commissioned to do. This is an experimental piece. I hope it turns out right. A friend of mine, Tim Beebe, he has a, he has a YouTube channel, Tim Beebe Woodworks. And uh, he made me a wine cork, which I'm going to use with bourbon. And that is a bottle opener. And he made it from epoxy, two different colors, marbled, marbled really, really nice. So anyway, so I'm experimenting on a piece to see if I can get something to work out because they, they like animals, horses in particular. I also this morning poured a blank for him. Of course, woodworkers use a different process in doing their epoxy. And I'm kind of hoping he might be able to use this. Yeah, it's just an experiment on my part. So, we'll find out. It's got copper, it's got blue, and it's got agua metallic powder. So, looks pretty cool. I like how it sailed up in there. I hope it looks as good when we cut it open. Anyway, we'll get to this uh, painting right here. This epoxy painting. Ooh, that's still warm, man. You can take a temperature. It's probably sitting about 130, 140 degrees. It's still curing. So, I'm going to put it back down. Warm, warm, warm. All right. Anyway, I, I made me a stencil... I use spray paint, flat spray paints, uh, black across the top, blue across the bottom. Sprinkled it with some white paint. And of course I dusted the horse with uh, a little bit of black. Give him kind of that dark because it's supposed to be a nighttime picture. So anyway, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put a pair of gloves on here. I think I'm going to put just a clear coat of epoxy on there and then put my inks my alcohol inks over the top and see what kind of effect that can have color wise so we'll see so here we go folks i've already mixed everything i didn't want to have didn't want to make you sit through all that by any means because it does get kind of boring watching me mix epoxy for two solid minutes i, I saved this cup from the other day i mixed an orange epoxy from one of my ink drawings and save the cup so it's in good shape so i probably won't use it after this usually i can only get two or three times out of a cup before it gets too messy to work with all right so that's done let's heat this up and i'm going to smooth it out by hand Okay, of course the epoxy is going to give it kind of a, it's going to give it a nice gloss. So I'm not too worried about that. You can see a little bit of the fiber through the gesso and the spray paint, which is fine with me. Because like I said, this is an experimental piece. Let's see how it works out. Because I, I, I like working with the abstract, but you know what? Deviating a little bit here. Away from the abstract, gonna get to the all right. Let's spread that around a little bit, let it go over the edges, give it that homemade look. All right, looks good to me. All right, so let me get a Oh, paper towel here. Wipe off. Oh yeah, by the way. I have my beer along with my coaster. Yeah. Can't do this stuff without some form of, uh, how would you say, the aid to the fun. Yeah, this is a pinion coffee stout made in New Mexico. I'm not plugging anybody, but you could check on the breweries in New Mexico and find out who has that. It's a really good beer. I like it. In fact, I can have a drink. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some inks here. I want the horse to be kind of... I want to put some brown on the horse. Okay. 
I like how that works really nice. I guess you can call it a painted pony. Eh? Another drop there. I'm just going to let that spread all by itself. In fact, let's just give it a little bit of a flow here. Let it flow around a little bit. Okay. Now, I kind of I kind of lean toward red stars. So, Let that run over the edge a little bit. Put that back over here. Oh, we got some stars here. All right. Oh, missed one. Boom. Boom. Now, typically the horse is going to be running across grass, right? So let's get a green and we'll add some green. All right, we got a little bit of green going there. Hmm. In fact, I think I'll put just a touch more. Actually, I'm gonna go with the blue green and fill in some of these spots. Well, let's see what we got going here. All right. Let's add a touch of blue to this guy. Might not be completely dark. Okay. Let's put some heat to it. Let's see if we can get some movement. Alright, not getting the movement I want, so I'm going to take my quarter inch tubing. Sorry, got my head into it, didn't I? See if I can get the brown back down this way. There we 
There we go. Well, I tell you. I tell you and I tell you again. So what I'm trying to do is blow the blue ink off of the horse and keep it down below where it's supposed to be. Now, just to make this a little bit, hmm, let this around a little bit. Let's I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let's go with some purple. Down here is a frame. And what I'm gonna do is blow that over the edge. Heat it up a little bit, take the tube. Hmm, I don't like how that's working. So, what we'll do is we'll just have to put the ink where it'll go over the edge. There we go. I like it better already. Take a look in the camera, see what it looks like. Let me move this over just a little bit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 da 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 Ah, gotta go with the brown again. Gotta chase off the blue. my little hose
I gotta tell you, that's about as abstract as you get right there. I'm gonna kind of mix that brown in a little bit right there. Yeah, I'm going to take some of that ink off. See how this turns out. Hit it. I think I'm going to leave it I think I'm gonna leave it at that we'll let it dry and cure that's about as abstract as you get all right thanks for joining me and look at my website RM Epoxy Art, or at least on YouTube, okay? But leave some comments, like, and click subscribe. Thank you.